What's up, everyone? I just, <laughs> I said I was going to stay away, but I drove a couple hours, about an hour and a half to come back here to see what's going on. So it was going to rain. I want to see if I could help anyone or do anything real quick. We'll see. Oh wow, it's gone. I just seen uh, Amanda back to the left with the uh, tent I gave her, so that makes me feel good. They're getting use out of it. The lady Maureen sent those tents. That, that you know, that makes me feel real good. Hmm. I went, had some alone time today. I went and I took some pictures and I, I just, you know, just did some thinking. Um, I'm gonna do some more tomorrow, make a, a, a video of some place that's not in Kensington. It's uh, a little crazy down here, busy. Sorry if I'm not too talkative, man. I, I just, like I said, I've been doing a lot of thinking today and um, figuring out what I want to do and, and 
my friend doing what he did, it, it, it um, made me realize how fucking short and precious life can be, you know? And I just, I don't know if I'm, um, if I am um, living to my capacity or, you know, I, I have a good opportunity here and I've worked hard to get to where this opportunity is. And I just want to make sure I'm making um, the best of it now. It's funny how, you know, it, sometimes it takes a person's death or um, you know, uh, uh, something like that to bring into focus the things that are important to you. You know, I I always say I like to go out and have fun and you gotta have fun outside of Kensington. But these last couple of days I've been asking myself, what is fun? You know, I, I see people enjoying Eagles games and um, going dancing and going to concerts and I, I don't do any of that stuff. Um, and I mean, I guess that's okay too, but I'm trying to figure out why. Um, you know, that's that's where I've been at. I just I I want to make sure I um, I in enjoy life I, I spent so much time and effort getting sober and getting out of debt and setting my life up to where it is now I just don't want to wake up five years from now and just kick myself for you know not doing the stuff I wanted to and I don't even know what it is I want to do yet I know I want to travel. Like today, I just went and early this morning, I uh, um, renewed, or I'm sorry, it's been more than 15 years since I got my passport. Um, I was going to renew it, but I had to just get a whole new, uh, do a whole new thing. It was like 65 bucks or something. And I did that this morning. So I have something to look forward to this winter. I'm, I was planning on my whole goal when I bought these cameras, and you guys know I've talked about them a lot. My entire goal was to um, oh wait, no, that's not. I got a wig now. All right, hold on. Let me hold up. I got to clean this stuff up. Hold on. Just wait. Just wait. I'll help you. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to put this in here. What is it? The, um, all right. I, got, I bought three Charles, bought two wigs yesterday. He saved my whole head. All right. Cool. He did the light treatment first, then he changed it, then I did the light treatment again. All right. You want to do a quick interview? Yeah. Tell about it? Yep. All right. What do you want to do, right here? Yeah. All right, let me uh, park. You seem awake. Yeah, I am awake, but look what happened to my eye. Oh, yeah, what happened? I don't know. I woke up and it didn't look like this. No. The whole side of my face is swollen. You think it's from a, a, a bad tooth or did you get punched or something? No, I didn't get punched at all. Oh, no. Charles thinks it's probably from the bugs. Yeah, it could be. From being infected. Like maybe Not that application, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the um, passport application. It was like 65 bucks or something. Oh, my God. Yeah. But it takes a couple months to get it. It does? Yeah. I could have paid like 
a double and they could have like rushed it. Yeah, it's probably not even what they ate all that. Yeah. And you can just wait for You remember it. the kid, the guy Jim that used to stay down here all the time in the uh, wheelchair? Yeah. You know he's eight months sober now? <gasps> for real? The ones that had all the bandages on his legs? Yeah. Oh my God. He's walking. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they, they got him in a nursing home up in um, Shellingham. Good. I'm going to go visit him soon. And you remember Jess, the girl with the really bad leg? Uh, after this video gets off, I'll show you the picture so you can see. I want to see if you recognize her. Okay. Um, she said, uh, um, you ever heard of Liberté? Uh, yeah, I didn't hear of it. It's like a women's halfway house? Yeah, I heard of Liberté. Um, she's at, at Liberté up near my house. She said months clean too. Yeah, no, man, you no. smell you smell fresh and yeah, you know, the shower. You don't you don't smell like the streets right now. It's mm. good. I took like four showers. Did you? Yeah, I, that's your body telling you you need to fucking rest sometimes. You know. Oh, yeah, we went. Me and him went to Walmart. Did you? I bought all this food with the access card and just picked out and watched movies. Oh, nice, nice. And I slept like it was amazing. Yeah, your body needs that every once in a while, you know? What color, what other color wig did you get? I black. Forgot. Oh, black one? Mm -hmm. All right, so I can buy you wigs now? Yeah. All right. All right. I am buying, you know, hoochie mama ones, but. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll get you some. I like, like, I prefer, like, long ones, like, shoulder lengths. Okay, longer ones? Yeah. All right. Any color. Okay. No favorite color? Purple. Purple? Yeah, purple. Oh, all right. All right. I will, um... I will run... Maybe I'll run home. They have some at Walmart really cheap. Do they? Really cheap. Oh, what are they? Like the, um... I got, I got this for 12 bucks. Really? Yes. And then you got the other one for like seven dollars. Really? Yeah. You look good with the red uh, hair. Really? Yeah. I used to have brown hair when I had my real hair. Really? Yeah. This it's kind of red. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's weird not seeing you scratch every thirty seconds. Uh, I know. It feels so much better. Does it? Yes. Yeah, All right. Yo, it was, it was bad, you know, when he was cutting it, like, I was holding a plastic bag open so the hair would fall in the bag. Well, you could see all the... Oh, my yeah. God, I could see all the hair. Well, that's like when there. I'm, like, sitting here talk, interviewing you and I could see him crawling around your hair. I'm oh. like, oh, no, and, like, I'm going nuts because I don't want to get him, you know what I mean? But yeah. I, I'm not trying to, like, embarrass you or be disrespectful to you. So I'm, in my head, is like, going crazy. I'm, like, having anxiety. Yeah, and Mel interviewed me the other day and was like... What can you ever do to stop itching? Yeah. Yeah, I was feeling I was feeling horrible for you, man. I, I wanted I don't you know I. It I, was horrible. And like I already know you bring all, all this stuff on yourself with your addiction, but I still feel you know I, I when right I see. Right here's it, good. But right I'm here. Uh, grab them right here. All right. All right, baby girl. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Uh, be safe, all right? I will. Yo, you look good. Keep it up. Thank you. Go home and sleep tonight. Oh, I am. Are you? <laughs> yes. All right, listen. If you remember, call me from Charles' phone to early tomorrow morning when you wake up, and I'll bring you the um, antibiotics. Okay. All right? Yep. Where? All right. That was cool. It just raining. Thank you. She's <gasps> all hyped up to see me. She wanted to uh, show everyone her. Uh, she cut her hair, and uh, you know it looks it look, doesn't look bad, but the uh, the um, uh, what am I trying to say with the wig on? Didn't look too bad.
So I got pulled over today, guys, and I didn't realize. This is how shitty the Philly cops are down here. I, my re registration um, expired in um, December 2022. So this whole time I've been down here driving with an expired registration. Although I don't think the Philly cops can pull you over for that anymore. They were, um, they're not allowed to pull people over for, unless it's something serious because of how racist they are. They were, uh, pulling people over, well, like, only... Um, well, by a huge amount, they were pulling out only, um, you know, black and brown people. And then a lot of those stops turned into ass whoopings and stuff like that, so they had to stop. But I was pulled over in Ben Salem. And those cops are known for being the biggest assholes in the world. And I have to admit, because you guys know how I am with cops. Um, they, this guy was a straight up gentleman. The cop. Um, we were just talking, he, uh, you know, I was like, listen, I, I am sorry. I thought I, I was doing everything legit nowadays. I said, I told him, I was like, I just had seven years off of heroin. Um, so I was like, I try and be, uh, you know, on the up and up for the most part. I don't, there's no reason for me to do anything illegal anymore. And he like kind of chuckled. He's like, uh, he's like, listen, he's like, I have to write you the ticket. He's like, just get the car registered. Come into, uh, what do you say? Come into, um, I'm going to turn around and go back up. Back, uh, I want to see if, um, I could see Joy down that way. Um, he said, just plead not guilty and come in with the, uh, with the registration um, good, and he's like, we'll just throw it out. And then he was like, he was, and then he, after that, he was like, I need to ask you a serious question. He's like, how the hell did you get off these drugs? And, you know, I just, I just started talking to him. He was like, look, he's like, it's, he's like, it is crazy what we were dealing, what we are dealing with. Um, with these these drugs now, I was like, yeah, it's not even heroin. It's you know, it's the fentanyl and trank and and like he even admitted he's like, yeah, we don't even really know the right way to deal with it yet or like what you know. He's like, it's all so new and it's and it's um, tearing up people's bodies so much. And I'll be honest with you. Um, He he sounded sincere. Like he could have just gave me the ticket. He could have just gave me the ticket, walked away. But like once he knew about my history, like he he asked me, I would say about you know a good four or five questions, and it, he seemed genuinely interested in the answers. Shook my hand. Uh, congratulated me. You know, so as much shit as I like do talk on the cops, I, I do feel the need to um, to speak up when I have good interactions with them because I, I know there are good cops out there. And, you know, my whole life I've been doing the wrong thing or illegal stuff because of my drug addiction or, you know. Um, 
so it, it's it's good when I uh, it feels good when I get proof where the cops show me that they are good too, you know. I wasn't even planning on um, interviewing uh, Amber. I, 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 she just, I, you could see it in the, um, the drive-through. I heard her yell, so I stopped. And I, you know, whenever she sees me, and, and she could be the higher than she's ever been before. That she sees my um, car a lot. I always laugh at that. I don't mind, you know, I, I, I genuinely care about her, you know, when I tell her I love her and I give her a kiss on the cheek goodbye, I, I really mean it, and I really care about her. Someone sent cash at me $20 to give her the other day, and I was, I couldn't get down here, I was dealing with my, you know, with the personal stuff. So I called Manny and I uh, I cashed that Tim the 20 and then he gave it to her. And I just wanted to make sure, you know, I know Manny's a good guy too, I, so I, I just wanted to make sure she got it though. but I don't she didn't see me so I'm not going to stop I'll, I'll call her and see her a different time say hi to her I, I don't have money or anything on me not that she would that's all she cares about but she's obviously on the Ave walking for a date to make money and when I see them doing that and I have money I'll usually stop like I had the 20 in my pocket that's why I stopped and I, I uh, quick did the amber one real quick. So. So I, if, if I do have the 20 or 30 bucks, whatever it is, if I'm going to buy them lunch too, 40 bucks it comes to, whatever it is. If I do have it and it's a girl I know, someone that I've dealt with, you know, interview multiple times, I always just stop and pick them up. And, you know, people might bitch at that. The way I look at it is I can, I, it's $20, right? Whether I give it to them or not, they are going to go work to get the money. Now, I know I can make that $20 back on the ad revenue. And I could just, I, you know, and I pick them up. We do the 10 minute interview. And then I go drive them back to their, you know, where they hang out with. And they, you know, so then they don't have to get in a date, get in a car and do a date. That's just my reasoning behind it sometimes. It's just, it's, you know, if I had the money, I, I would rather at this point give them the 20 bucks knowing that I just have to, you know, post the, the video and I can make that 20 back and then I know that girl that you know I know I care about now is not doing 
doesn't have to do a date with a random guy. I mean, she's going to have to do it again eventually. Because she's down here, you know. But... And another reason I do it when they're like that is normally that's when they're their most awake because they are obviously out of money and they are looking for more money so that means they're not going to be all high. So it's like a, you know, there's a couple reasons behind it but that's kind of like my thinking. That's kind of my thinking. All right, I'm gonna turn this off now and, and go home and or go figure some stuff out. All right, guys. All right, I'm a f fucking moron and I left the microphone, my wireless microphone set up on Amber. So I'm trying to find her again. I probably won't. So that's probably gone. mistake but my own fault Amber, come here. Uh, yeah, where's it at? Right here, I got it. Uh, thank you so much. I was just trying to call Manny to, uh, try I, to call you. Tonight. I just noticed. I was almost like getting on the highway, and I, I love you, you so much. No, I know. I know. Thanks, Amber. Holy shit. Here I was worried. That she was gonna lose it. I still haven't seen Steph or Samantha. People asked about Stephanie. I just seen her post that she was in Atlantic City with her boyfriend. So that's good. Pulling up when I pulled up to Amber, she was on the phone getting my number to call me. Tell me I left that thing with her.
I guess she got picked up already. I felt bad I was going to swing and see if I saw Tori have a um, McDonald's gift card. I was going to see if she wanted to go get some food. I, her um, apartment is down this way, so I, that's why I kept going this way. I said maybe she was uh, walking home, but 